talk about with Krishan Rock and Blueface. I really don't like getting into Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, guys. Man, news you can use, man. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys uh, uh, keep up with what we got going because uh, the, 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 the news you can use is a new segment, but it's doing great, and I love the feedback you guys are giving me. Um, make sure you share, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you let me know if it's anything you want me to talk about, and definitely I'll get right on it, man. But this is news you can use coming to you with news that you absolutely got to have to start your day to end your day this could come anytime so man just when things pop up and people hit me up about it i talk about it so one thing people was wanting me to talk about with Krishan rock and blue face i really don't like getting into uh, domestic uh confrontational toxic sometimes seemingly but standing on the outside looking in you see what everybody is saying and what everybody is talking about and the thing that I hear a lot is just you know hey you know a lot of opinions on their relationship and as I show and teach and tell man like I really don't like to get in people's business when it comes down to but they are public figures so when you see them everything they do to me could be for a bag I don't know you know I heard Charlemagne say, "Man, is this just for the cameras?" Really, I wonder. I wonder if behind the scenes, they're really cool and peaceful with each other. But, but in front not. of the camera, I don't, I don't think they, they do not. that because that's that is the business. I thought that was dope for him to even bring that out. You know, uh, you, you hear a lot of different people. Uh, Blueface's baby mama. Uh, she's also in the, in the mix of this. But the thing is, like I said, I think I kind of ride with Charlemagne. A lot of this is stuff that pretty much drives revenue, drives, uh, this is something that people uh, are watching and they want to see what happens next. So I got to ride with Charlemagne on that. He probably one of the liveest dudes I see that any from, you know, he, he, he's Southern, you know, he a little bit, he a little bit Southern, you know, I won't call him Texas. We in the South, but when I hear him say things like, you know, is this for the cameras and you hear other, like other people just kind of sitting around, like not looking at that perspective or thinking, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot, these guys know what they're doing. This is nothing new. These guys know they got to keep this up in order to keep in the limelight. So, yeah, you're going to see this stuff happen from time to time. This blue face has his issue. Yeah, but Christian have other issues, too. They both have issues. They're young. They got a family. And whether you like it or not, they have a child that's about to come into this world. So you got to ride with them and not collide with them. You got to be able to reach out to them and talk to them respectfully as a, as a couple because that's what they are now. If you just taking sides and ripping the stuff apart, hey man, I'm not with that, you know. Be a, a leader at, at some point and talk to people with with uh, guidance. So, you know, if I was able to talk to Blueface, I'd be like, man, you know, uh, man, I've been young. I, I had issues with my uh, baby mama when, when we were young and things happened where I didn't appreciate things and, and, and she was aggressively tearing up stuff. And this is stuff that happened with young young people those people are so much younger than us if you ain't got nothing positive to try to help influence them in a positive direction to bring them out of the situation in a way to where they can you know uh, be seen respectfully man kind of you what are you doing so man shout out to Christian rock shout out to Blueface. man you guys are dope and hey like I said again, man, y'all young, so y'all can get it together. Ain't no way you cannot just get it together. You guys can get it together. You can pull this off. Let's make history. You know what I'm saying? Pull it off. Shut the haters and the naysayers down, man. Y'all might look up at them folks. Could change the whole game, man, for a lot of young celebrities, a lot of young people. Man, so I'm rocking with it, man. Just the guys just try. I, I'm, I'm seeing a positive thing, you know. At least they they still trying to figure it out. Now I know y'all like, oh well, you know, you could hurt and all that. Yeah, I get it, but at the end of the day, man, until we get where we're going, they still evolving, man. So shout out to Christian Rock, shout out to Blueface, man. I, I I always take a different angle at it than a lot of people. So if you're looking for that that real, real deep down 
iron gritty just hey say this say that. it's not like that man I, I know that they're young so next thing I want to talk about is uh Deion Sanders man Deion Sanders Deion Sanders Jr. Lil Twist Lil Wayne these guys man when you look at these guys <laughs> man what can you say about Coach Prime man he's one of the dopest uh, coaches man whether he's in, where in Jackson or where, whether he's over here in uh, Colorado he's still dope and the story he told about Lil Twist man I talked to Lil Twist on the phone a few months back and uh, a lot of stuff I don't pick up on I, I know I remember the Diamond D and him and I remember him uh, at a show with J Jermaine Dupri and all of, but he was young and he came up out of situation I did not know that at 13 his father um, went to prison for life and I did not know that that's when Lil Wayne came in his life I'm from Oak Cliff bro alright I'm from Oak Cliff by the grace of God, Lil Wayne found me at 13 years old. My father got life in jail at 13 years old. So to be able to call people like this family, being from where I'm from, 35 and count with them, that's the hood in Dallas. And, and reaching, reaching people like this, like I never take that for granted. Just was a safe haven, just like Birdman did Lil Wayne. So that's dope, and he's still rocking with Lil. But to hear the story that Lil Twist told about um, the fact of Deion Sanders Senior picking up that phone and calling him, I thought that was live. Bro, I remember you called. Oh, Deion, bro. I ain't gonna say everything. Yeah, bro. No, I'm gonna say it. I was at Papa Do's with my mama. And I was in class. He called me. He like, hey, my daddy won't talk to you like right now. Like, I need you to be clear, be on standby. I'm like, I'm sitting at the table like, damn, all right. What could Uncle Dio want to talk about? Phone ring. Uncle Dio's going off on me. And I'm in the class, bro. This whole time I'm in the hallway <laughs> on the phone. He let me know, man. Telling me exactly what you said. How much <laughs> my brother, my brother loved me, but what I remember verbatim, you gotta be a blessing to it. <laughs> so when you think about Deion Sanders and having to make the transition that he did going to move up to Colorado and and then you see Lil Wayne rocking with him in down south then he go to Colorado and he rocking with him still uh, to see Lil Wayne in his relationship man I like that man but like I said Coach Prime man stepping in being father figures in places where father figures is needed and like he's always done I seen him do it I seen whether y'all like it or not I seen Steve Harvey do it like this is stuff that people don't talk about but these are older men that I've seen go take camps and help kids man that's big for me so when I see Coach Prime and uh, Lil Twist and Lil Twist recap what he recap is crazy but it's so needed and I'm gonna tell you right now that boy say he from Dallas he from uh, he talked about I-35 you know uh, what can you say about Lil Twist Lil Twist is, is, is like I said, he's he, he 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 definitely made it out. I got a big up him. Uh, he told me he was coming on Boss Talk 101, so you guys may see that happen actually. But even if it don't, I'm rocking with him. It don't matter to me. I just basically know that he was a kid that I watched come up from nothing. And look at his situation now, man. He's touring with Lil Wayne. He's hanging out with Dion. Dion Jr. and him have a relationship. And to see Dion Jr. the way he's captivating the audience with the blog thing, I remember when he didn't have uh, he didn't even have as many subscribers as me but you know now he's he's pretty much moving you know so to see him and grab his niche and to understand what his gift is man people don't realize some people never tap into their gift but for him to tap into his gift and be able to support his father and bring this behind the scene footage man and I always gave him tough times I gotta say this man because me and him I remember when he was trying to sell clothes in Vegas and I remember when I seen him at Magic and I was like like, man, you know, I'm an older cat, so when they come to me, they're like, that's, that's Dion uh, Jr. I'm like, I don't care nothing about that. He, he got to prove to me that he, he is selling clothes. His daddy do uh, football, so I, I do these clothes. So I was really giving him a tough time, but then years later, I see him. He's still focused. He's still rocking with the clothes, and I told him, I said, now nah, I believe you. So Dion Jr., man, I believe you. I really understand that you love the, 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 the apparel business, and I do know. Shout out to the GOAT clothes. Uh, I see you boy but I also know that I love what you're doing with the blogging so keep on doing your thing man 
masterful the way you're uh, supporting what your father is doing, your family is doing, your brother. All y'all stick together, man. Family that prays together stays together, man. Stick with your father. Don't let the naysayers uh, come between what y'all got going. And hey, Coach Prime, I see you. Don't think I don't see you. I, I watch everything. Never met you. Met Mike, Michael Irvin. Never got to meet Prime, but I rock with him. I rock with Jock Taylor. So a lot of things have brought me in the midst of this Deion Sanders character. And he wanted the best to do it. So at the end of the day, you can't deny that. But shout out, man. So and shout out with those deep Dallas roots, man. I gotta show you love this morning. Uh, also. Hey, let's keep it Texas, man. Big X the plug, man. Uh, like I said, he's been on my show. Love this cat. He's really doing dope things right now. Big X the plug is scaling when it comes down to people saying, who is this guy? Well, we tapped into him before everybody else is usually how I, I look at it. And Big X the plug uh, talked about not writing. And that episode is actually out. Should be coming out today. But he talked about not, not, not punching in, I'm sorry, but actually writing. And I thought that was dope because he take his crap very very serious and as y'all can see what's really happening is he's scaling because he's taking this thing to a whole nother level when you look at how he's doing it he's taking it to a whole nother level uh, that Texas song is blowing up everywhere it's topping the charts I'm about to drop the top five at five video uh, uh, to see who's doing what and where in in these markets man and big X to plug is the name that's been popping up everywhere so hey man and shout out to Big X. I talked to his camp too the other day and I just love what they got going and just tell him to keep going man. But Big X the plug uh, hit news you can use today. Big X the plug is one of those guys I told him boy you got a deep voice man. You know what I'm saying? It was funny to me because the guy is really really talented. I seen it the star power in him when I first met him and Big X the plug he was one of the guys in the south that you guys need to really really pay attention to uh, there's a lot of dope talent in the South, man, from ATL to uh, Houston to Dallas to San Antonio, all the way back over to like all the different cities, man, when you look at how we rolling, man, and we roll East Texas, stand up, so I just love the way that Big X is holding it down for everything that has to do with uh, everything for a little bit here in the South, so God is giving his kudos, man, and like I said, you guys will see another interview coming up here shortly with him, but Boy, I'm telling you, man, like this news station, like I said, it is for different situations. And like I said, I had to point that out because nobody's going to tell our story except for we tell our story. I want to tell y'all that, man. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you follow what's going on with Boss Talk 101. Um, if there's anything you would like to see on news you can use, make sure you do so by uh, getting in the comments or DMing uh, Boss Talk 101 podcast. Make sure you guys uh, follow all our platforms. Make sure you follow our Patreon channel. There's a lot of different things that you guys can do to tap into what we're doing. We also have a website, uh, Boss Talk uh, Podcast uh, 101.com. Look up our website. Uh, support it, land on it. Um, there's a lot going on with us that people probably don't even realize because there's so much, you know, internet is over congested with different information. And I know you guys can't tap into everything, but just give us a, a, a give us a look, man. We're working. Uh, you'll see a lot of guests. Uh, let's go, Famous Animal TV. You'll see some of his stuff coming out this week. Shout out to Famous Animal TV and what he's doing with those young kids down in Memphis. Uh, that's another place, Memphis, man. Memphis is crazy when it come down to talent man and then I had my boy Valentino on a lot of different people from Memphis I rock with as well Arkansas man shout out to uh, Gutter TV I talked to Gutter yesterday as well man so Gutter is one of those guys man that's working man shout out to Gutter and all the stuff that he's doing down in uh, Little Rock and also just over the over all over this dude is everywhere doing everything with everybody and I gotta shout him out so hey man this has been another great segment let me check let me check this out um yeah, I think that's it, man. Hey, another great segment of news you can use.